Hello there, and welcome back to On Shape for Beginners. This is episode 3, um, unlike what that says. I think it's episode 3 at least. Um, today I'm going to go over how you would make a, like, cup or something in On Shape using the Revolve tool. Um, okay, so, what we're gonna do is actually that was probably kind of stupid of me but um what we're gonna do is i kind of want oh, mm, that was stupid wasn't it it was whoops okay so what i want this to do is i want it to have a small curve picture on the bottom and this needs to be 50. okay um, and then we're going to, we're going to bloody hell, okay, and then we're going to make, no, let's give me a minute, okay, um, don't worry about this, we're going to fix this in a moment, um, okay, so now what we want is we want to have this, okay, make this, um, make those five millimeters, no, six millimeters I'm not willing to do the math trust me there are ways to do it <laughs> but I don't want to because it takes effort and effort is boring um, okay is that are those good no not quite yet okay seven point no eight because we need a little gap in there okay so you'll see we now have our cup all curved on the bottom because niceness is important for whatever reason. Um, and then what I'm going to do to separate these off when we revolve it is I'm just going to make a line going up here that slices it. In. Actually, that's not necessary, is it? I'm a dingus. And this line did not go down properly. No, why is it doing that? Okay, so now we can see these are both separate shapes from this part, which is good. So once you've finished your cup thing, half cup, half 2D cup, um, head over to the resolve tool, or, ah, revolve tool and then choose all these. Um, one thing to note, you need a line in here. Don't ask me why. Um, and then, once you've done this, what you can do you click this and look at that you've got a nice little cup now probably not the nicest of all cups but it'll do I guess <laughs> um, so now adding one more thing on making it look nice and not tearing your mouth in half whenever you try to use it we're gonna use this So, now you may be like, oh, well, you know, why did we curve off the bottom if the rest is going to be a boxy piece of crap? Well, that's because also in this episode I'm going over the fillet tool or fillet um, and the chamfer. So, now that we've got our cup, um, you'll notice that when we click up here it won't actually let us um, fillet both fillet, fillet, I'm going to say fillet. I'm actually, yeah. <laughs> um, so, and that's because this is too big. So, if we change it to like four, okay, maybe not four, three, two, one. Um, now you'll notice that it's rounded off. Two, three, two. Okay. So, now that's nice and rounded off. It's not perfect, but it is better than nothing. Um, and now on the bottom, this is more optional than the last one but uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna round that off okay, was that actually doing anything no it's not okay and then just in case we'll select that and now our fillet is done um, you can see it is all rounded off and nice and beautiful so yeah crap I have to go stop a GoPro on a print one minute <laughs> okay so I'm back from me disabling a GoPro on a print um, 
Something that I just noticed is you can right click on this and click suppress and that'll hide this layer. Or disable it. <sighs> Love my dog sometimes. Okay. Um, now we're going to choose our chanfer tool. Um, once again, this is too big. Three is too big. Okay. So now, this one, as you can see, is actually just flattening out the sides rather than rounding them. And you can do the same thing there. And we can see they're all flattened, I guess. And it's arguably not as good looking as you can tell. What happens if we re-enable this? Oh, okay. Because that one's before, so it'll overtake the chanfer. So, yeah, um, it's quite simple and very effective, I guess. Um, so, the revolve tool can be very useful when you are making a cup or anything that needs to be circular. However, it's not always the best thing um, for your project. And, yeah. Um, along with the fillet and chanfers, um, they work really nicely, and I highly recommend you use one of them on every project you do, um, especially if it's something that needs to be really good looking. Um, so, yeah. Um, thank you for tuning into this video. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.